Hi everybody, I'm Isaac Murdoch and this is... Hi everybody, I'm Shannon Paul. And we're here to talk about Orange Shirt Day. But first, we want to introduce you to... Nana Bujo. And Nukamis. Hi Grandma. Ani. Ani, how was your day? Really good, I'm so happy to be here with everybody. Me too, we're so happy to be here with all you children from all over the place. And today we're going to be talking about Orange Shirt Day. And we're wearing orange shirts. <gasps> we're wearing orange shirts, wow! And sometimes we wear our orange shirts because we want to commemorate those that went to residential school and those that were taken away from their parents a long time ago. And this happened to Indigenous people all over. And it was a very sad thing. Yes. And so we commemorate and we remember those children that went to residential schools by wearing orange shirts on yes. September 30th. Every child matters. And so what residential schools are, is they were schools that were put in place so that little kids could be taken away from their parents and put in there. Nukumis, how do you feel about that? That makes me very upset, but I'm happy you're wearing the orange shirt days today. Yes. So we're happy that we're able to wear the orange shirts today. And how did Orange Day start? Well, there was this little girl a long time ago who was taken to this school. Hmm. And her name was Phyllis Webstead. And she was brought to this school and she thought that she could wear her beautiful orange shirt and the mean teachers took it away. And she was really sad. But this happened to a lot of children and the teachers were very mean to them and they did this because they didn't want the children to speak their language or to learn their culture and that was not right and that was not fair. Oh, Nokomis, is it good to learn your language and your culture? It is very good. Nishin, Nishin. Nishin, yes, it's very good to learn your culture and your language and to be very proud of who you are. And even though this happened, uh, you know, a little while ago, today we have many things to be proud of. Today we have many things that we celebrate. For example, Nana Buju is the one who taught us how to plant vegetables and, and all sorts of gardens and all sorts of amazing things. And so a, a lot of our people are great gardeners. What else do Anishinaabe people do? We have many songs. <gasps> we have many dances. Wah, wah. We take care of each other and take care of the elders. Mwah. And you know what? So many indigenous people all over Turtle Island, they're doctors, they're knowledge keepers, they're astronomers. They're lawyers, they're teachers, they're everything that you can find in society, that's what they do. And Indigenous people have excelled greatly all over the world. And so we're so thankful to have survived residential schools and of course the aftermath of what happened. And so today we remember to always be kind to each other. Yes. And to honour everybody's cultures and differences. Wow, yes. Why? Because every child matters. And you matter. And you matter too. Wait. And we matter. And we matter. Yay! Yay! Everybody matters. That's so great. So we want to thank all of those out there that were in residential school for being resilient, for continuing on our languages, we're continuing on our customs and our beliefs. We're so thankful that you're, you're still with us today. Yes, thank you. And we want to show you now some amazing things that are happening. So you can now take a look at this amazing slide. Perfect. Yay! Well, have fun! Yay! Yay! Yay!